My guest is Dr. Phil Switzer from Vancouver. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Howard. Can I call you Phil? For sure. Okay, Phil, what's your connection with Hebrew University? You're involved with one of the centers here. Uh, I've been the past president of Canadian Friends of Hebrew University, and then I was past co-president, and now I'm uh, vice president of the national uh, organization and the immediate past president. That's an administrator. As a radiologist, did you have so, a connection as well? Well, I joke around that when people ask me what I do, so I say I work full-time for Hebrew University and part-time as a radiologist. <laughs> I see. So, uh, so mainly, I for Hebrew University, my function has been organizing the honorees for the past four dinners. I see. Arranging for the honorees and um, setting that whole complex situation up. And it has been complex because we've been... Uh, co-partnering in the past, our past uh, dinner we co-partnered with uh, UBC and the Rick Hansen Foundation. I see. And oh, that's right. You were involved in that whole thing with... That's right. We, we interviewed one of the people from Imbrick. Okay. Who was doing okay. that kind of work on spinal cord that's injuries. That's right, right, right. Uh, yeah. A Haron Lev That's right. Probably. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. So we brought... <laughs> that was a fascinating interview, by the way, with those visuals. I was really impressed. <laughs> So we brought uh, Rick Hansen uh, and some people from UBC, people involved with the research at UBC to Israel to see what Aharon Levtov was doing and make sure that it's compatible with what UBC is doing. And then um, Aharon came to Vancouver to check out the scene at the uh, research center for our spinal research. And after both agreed, we set up this cooperative. So they're doing collaborative work. Well, we we are setting that up. Oh, the dinner was to raise money for that and for the Rick Hansen Foundation to be involved in it as well. And um, it went well, and everybody's excited to work together. And you're giving out awards tonight? Are you presenting an award? Uh, I don't think so, but I'll wait and find out. I'm not sure. Yeah, I see. They save <laughs> surprises. That's for you. right. I've been getting a lot of surprises here. So. And, and what kind of what's your been impression over? Because you've been involved over the years. What's happened over the years with Canadian Friends and the connection? Well, I think what's, what we're moving towards in Vancouver and I think across the country is when we do functions is to partner more with our local institutions. I think with what's happening with our new and younger Jewish population, trying to go for a strictly Jewish uh, function or a strictly Jewish venue, strictly Jewish approach where you only want to go for something Israeli doesn't appeal as much. Whereas if you try, where you show something where you're partnering with a local institution, where the results are going to be more international, have more of a wider application than only for Israel, it seems to appeal more. It's not as insular, it has a wider appeal, and it, it works well. Yeah, I, that, that reads correctly. Uh, me anyway. Uh, well, exactly, yeah. and, and I think Israel's under fire for many things. And if you take it out of the political arena, and what Israel is really strong in is research. We all know about the high tech industry in Israel, but they're also very doing very well in medical research. Well, phenomenally, I'd say. So if we can partner with our uh, local institutions. It's a win-win. It's a win for the local institutions, win for Israel getting exposure locally. Uh, so it's very valuable. And the other thing, as we all know, is how on campuses Israel uh, is being uh, is having a lot of trouble. We know about apartheid week, but it's even more than that. And I think it behooves us in the uh, in the diaspora to show the strengths that. Israel and Hebrew University is bringing to Israel and to the world at large. And by partnering with these institutions, by getting people from Canada to come to Israel, they'll see that a lot of the things they hear about are in fact not true. You know, I was at a convocation ceremony in front of me, was this Arab family getting a PhD, and they're all excited about it, and they benefited some great, for great, from great education that maybe we supported. There weren't any newspaper art people right. trying to find out about it. But when you're here, you see that. You see that there's a lot of cooperation, people work together, they integrate, and the things that you think happen don't. Well, I'm glad, grateful for your work, and thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. 
My next guest is Claire Hirsch, the wife of the Canadian ambassador, but I want to introduce you. You have an independent identity. I totally, yeah. but uh, I'm very also very happy to be the partner of John Allen. Uh, see, uh, yeah. Because of his role or his personality? No. <laughs> I'll fit no, you on the spot. I, I, I think because of his personality. Okay. I think it, it's beyond the role. Yeah. Now you have your family here too with you. I do, and, I do. My two sons happen to be doing internships this summer the last summer that we're going to be here. But I also have more than that. I have my aunt that lives in Israel and lots of cousins. So really? Oh, real so you have a lot of family. I have a lot of family. Oh, I see. Yeah. You're not from Winnipeg, though, are you? Well, I, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, in a way, I am from Winnipeg. I, we arrived in Winnipeg from Vienna in 1959 via oh, I Poland. I was oh, born I in Poland. My parents moved to Vienna and we moved to Winnipeg. Oh. So I wasn't from Winni so in Winnipeg from age nine to about 20. So you're a Winnipeg? Uh, yeah. Sort of, so, yes. Uh, <laughs> now your boys, are. what are they doing here? Uh, one is a, just finished his law degree and he's doing an internship at the Supreme Court here. And the other one is working at, uh, on his master's at uh, Simon Fraser. And he's working here at the uh, Department of uh, Public Health or Global Health. I see, so that's really that interesting. Yeah. But you yourself, you're a painter. I am, and I'm an artist. I, I mean, I, I keep saying I have to reinvent myself every time we move somewhere else, but here I finally had some time to work on my own artwork. I used to teach art a fair bit throughout the different countries we've lived in, uh, art history and fine arts, but uh, now I've actually had some time to do some of my own work. And how do you find the Israeli art community? It seems very vibrant. But it's for the size, culturally, this country is one of the most dynamic and on the edge kind of place that you can be when it comes to all of the arts. Uh, contemporary art, but also contemporary dance, contemporary music. Every art form you can think of, Israel has it. And you get the chance and, to and experience. And I get a chance to experience. I'm a very <laughs> lucky gal. You're yeah. living in Tel Aviv, I assume. Uh, we live in uh, Herzliya, oh, Herzliya you live Petua. Here to the north so of it's Tel north of yeah. nor north of Tel yeah. Aviv. The uh, the embassy is in Tel Aviv, but the residence is in Herzliya. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. D didn't know yeah. where the Canadian yeah. embassy, yeah. the residence yeah. was. Yeah. So, and where were you before you came to Israel? We were in Washington. Uh, oh, yeah. In fact, we were in Washington, and before that, we were in Ottawa. Every time we go somewhere, we yeah. tend to go back. Washington twice. We were in India. And uh, our first posting was Mexican. Was Mexico? I I, we have a Mexican. We are, one of our children was born in Mexico. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so you're having uh, this is your fourth year here. Our fourth year. Our Which final is usually, year. Which usually used to be three years. Of it normally is, and we asked for an extension, and we were lucky enough to get it. Oh, <laughs> terrific! Yeah. Anyway, thank you for thank coming you. on the show, and enjoy the rest thank of you. your stay here. Thank you. And, All right. Uh, appreciate it.